My name is Everett McGill, and I am here to play video games. If you stuck around to the very part of my last episode, you would have noticed a bunch of cows in my basement. Uh, there's a few less now, but there was at one point in time many, 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 many more than even was in the last part of that episode, and that's thanks in part to a little something I built down here, just a little bit of an underground wheat farm. I've been trying desperately to breed up these cows and cull them and breed them and cull them and breed them and cull them to get plenty and plenty of leather. And if you've played Minecraft ever, you probably know what I'm getting at by needing that much leather. I needed bookshelves, and I, well, I got a ton. I got a ton of bookshelves. It's been a, a long grind. I've been doing it before, after, and during work, um, breeding up these cows and killing them. And I needed to set up a tree farm to supplement my wood for the bookshelves. Uh, the sugar cane farm out here obviously wasn't sufficient, so I started planting them around the lake that I have over in that direction, and that was only getting me so far, so I built a little bit more of a high efficiency temporary sugar cane farm over here. Not particularly organized or fancy, but it gave me enough sugar cane to get those bookshelves put together, and I got a, a plan that's going to require a whole lot of bookshelves, and as time was going along, uh, my plans got more ambitious. And I upped the number of bookshelves that I was attempting to... Hey, I saw a tree growing there. I upped the number of bookshelves that I was going to attempt to uh, to build this with. And it's also going to involve a lot of digging. And I think that's what I'm going to get started on right about now. And I'm just now realizing that all this digging is going to have to go on in this area that's got all a bunch of cows crowded in the moment. So we're going to go ahead and slay these guys as well. There are a bunch of cows outside the house that I was initially just breeding them in the forest but as my again as my plans grew more and more ambitious I realized I was going to need a little bit more of a concentrated farm and that's when I actually put them down in the basement but that has served its purpose I'm probably going to clear out this farm down here and probably the sugarcane farm as well uh, and get a little bit of that digging done right about now skis and there we have our little bit of digging done we dug straight on down to bedrock here and I dug sort of a diamond pattern in the walls here. The reason I did for that is I am going to be lining these sections where it bumps in for these three blocks on all these sides with bookshelves. And we're going to have a huge tower of a bookshelf pillar that you would normally put around an enchanting table. And then the very top of it is where the, our enchanting table is actually going to be. And then there's going to be a layer of glass. I'm thinking probably gray stained glass or light gray stained glass. Those are best for looking through. And we're going to be able to see all the way down to the very bottom to the bedrock. All lined with bookshelves all the way down. Bookshelves are basically all we're going to see. I'm thinking possibly about every five, maybe ten blocks. I'm also going to do uh, some lighting of some kind. Maybe I'll sink back some glowstone or some redstone lamps or some torches if we can't see them so save a little resources that way but I still got to figure that out uh, in the meantime I think maybe I might want to start lining with these with bookshelves straight away so let me get going on that Alrighty folks, so I got three of those four sides put in, and I'm thinking I'm definitely going to want to add some periodic lighting uh, going down. It doesn't look like I'm going to need them quite every five. Every ten should be sufficient. I'm just thinking about whether I want to recess it and have it hide, or whether I want it to be like redstone lamps and actually have them visible. And I'm leaning towards the latter option of actually having them as visible redstone lamps going right the way down to the bottom. 
I do kind of like the way that this looks, uh, with it just sort of petering off into darkness, and you're not quite sure where the bookshelves end or if they end, but I think that kind of takes away from the impact of realizing that they, in fact, do not end. And if I throw a torch down here, whoop, 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 you can see that they run all the way down to the bottom. And I think I would rather see my hard effort be visible than just sort of embrace this darkness effect. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and run this side down. And then I think I'm going to dig along the back sides of all of them and probably install some redstone lighting about every tin. And um, doing the whole mess of uh, getting them hooked up with levers and making sure they're all lit up. And I will be back with you in a jiff. Alright, so I'm down here under my first layer of tin books. I just installed my uh, first three redstone lamps in here. And I did get a little comment, uh, actually in person, on one of my previous videos from a friend of mine who uh, said that uh, I was installing the uh, redstone lamps in a much more difficult way than I needed to with those torches and that dust and trying to run into blocks and having them power them. He said you could have just put a lever on it. Put a lever on literally any side of the light. And that if you put a lever on the middle one, it'll just bud power out to the other two. And this was actually something that I knew and I had known that I had known it and I'd done it many times before in a whole bunch of my other Minecraft worlds and <laughs> something about some point in that time that I was uh, putting that video together just all my redstone knowledge disappeared out of my brain and I just decided to do it the hardest way possible but here in our library pit which I think is the uh, what I'm gonna be calling this area I'm gonna go ahead and do this the easy way so that's one layer done, and I'm going to go ahead and keep shooting on down here and doing this once in between every 10 layers of bookshelves. Alrighty, I just got done with a little bit of squid hunting. I had a little inspiration of an idea as I was running those redstone lamps down at the bottom, and I think it's kind of a compromise before, between the two kind of cool ideas that I had about the area. So I liked it tapering off into black. But I also wanted to see how many bookshelves I had worked to get. So I came here to get some. Now that I got this ink sex from my quick little battle with squids, I'm going to come over to here in my quick and dirty uh, sheep farm, and I'm going to need to grab some shears, it looks like, and come on back here. But I think I'm going to line the bottom with black wool and maybe skip the, uh, the last row of the uh, redstone lamps so that it does actually seem to disappear into black. And then you got a pretty flat bottom with just from that black wool. I was thinking I could do it with coal box, but I'm actually running pretty low on coal. And I'll actually show you why on that too, because after all my cow farming I did in my basement, I cooked a lot of steak, and I do not have a lot of coal left to show for it. So I decided black wool would probably be easier, and then I remembered I actually still had that uh, sheep farm hanging out over there. So it seemed kind of like the perfect solution. I think I left my shears up here in the bedroom, and here they are, yeah. So I'm going to go run back up to those uh, those little sheep skis, and I'm going to shear them up real quick. I shouldn't need too, too many wools to line the bottom. So I think one shearing round should be enough. And I will see you at the bottom of the library pit. And here we are. Down here in my the bottom of the library pit, I think... I'll just knock out these couple torches that are visible down here. Run down this black wool. Now let's do it one level higher. I think I got enough to waste a few. And I'm going to be covering up a few of these bookshelves here, but I think that those few I can live with just them dying down here. Uh, I do have quite a few excess as it turns out. I'm just going to pillar my way back up to the top and we're going to see how that looks. And the answer to that question is it looks pretty cool so wow yeah I'm liking it guys I'm liking it so I do have a little bit of an idea for the design scheme that I want for the general area of this enchantment room beyond just this pit of bookshelves and I think we're probably gonna hash those out in the next episode or I'll show you guys what I have in mind in the next episode I think I'm going to end this episode uh, right around here, but first thing I'm going to do is actually do maybe one more little speed up of me taking out all my fast and dirty farms that I had to put this project together. And I think we'll start that right about now.
Alrighty, so all things told, we recovered quite a bit of material. This is the uh, leather that we uh, got from the cows that we were culling in our basement that I had not yet turned into bookshelves. And you guys know that I do have a fair share of bookshelves still left downstairs and a full double chest of steak still left over. It has been quite a bit of grinding over this last uh, week, week and a half or so, which has been part of the delay on my video. Uh, so the other part of the delay is that my sister recently gave birth to now my fifth nephew. Three of them are from my other sister, and this is her second. So we've been really excited. I've been taking some time to be with the family before jumping back on here and getting some more videos up here for Minecraft and video games and sort of this lesser important stuff. But guys, I do appreciate you watching the video today. Now, in the next episode, we will be working on designing that enchantment room downstairs. If you wanted to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and if you wanted to subscribe if you're enjoying my content across the board, it would make me a very, very happy person. I would be super, super ecstatic about it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Hello, Mr. Cow.